Thank you. You guys ready for my piercing wit? <laughs> I am. I'm totally ready for it. I've been doing comedy a long time, 26 years. In 26 years, I've autographed two pairs of breasts. It's approximately one every 13 years. You'd think autographing breasts would be fun. It's not fun. It's not like a woman alone who asks you. It's always a woman with her biker boyfriend. It's like, sign my tits. I don't feel comfortable doing that. <laughs> Why don't you sign her tits? <laughs> we even provide a marker. Where do you want me to sign? <laughs> Above Polly Shore. <laughs> Polly Shore 98 or 2001? <laughs> I was in Chicago, they have a really nice Walgreens there. <laughs> they do, they convert an old bank into Walgreens, it's beautiful. They use the vault as the vitamin section. I walked in there, I was so impressed. I went on Twitter and I wrote, uh, I have to give out my first annual Best Walgreens Award. <laughs> the winner is Chicago, Milwaukee Avenue location. Some guy writes back immediately. The cops killed a guy there a year ago. <laughs> okay. What do you want me to do now? Take the award back? A little late for that, my friends. It's first annual Todd Barry Best Walgreens Award. I'm not gonna take it back as a guy was shot there a year ago. Didn't happen while I was in the store. It's not like I was walking around the candy aisle, a guy gets gunned down next to me, I'm like, this is a nice Walgreens. <laughs> but that is the original tile. <laughs> stayed at a hotel in Chicago. A few weeks after I stayed there, I got my credit card bill. And there was a hundred dollar charge from the hotel that I didn't recognize. So I called them up, I go, yeah, what's that charge? They're like, uh, oh, uh, something was missing from the room. I was like, what's that? She goes, uh, let's see, oh, a bedspread. <laughs> you think I stole a hotel bedspread? <laughs> I wouldn't steal anything from a hotel, but if I did, the last thing <laughs> would be the bedspread. <laughs> I would rip out the carpeting and throw it in a backpack <laughs> before I stole the most disgusting thing in the hotel. <laughs> There's no one stealing a hotel bedspread. Even an actual thief who needs a bedspread and can only afford the hotel room. It's not standing there going, hmm, I could buy one of these for a hundred bucks. Why don't I just steal this one? Get it sanitized for 300 bucks. Ooh, and the fact that it's ugly is a bonus. I'm a picky eater. I have three categories of food. Foods I like. Foods I don't like, but I understand why people like them. Then there are foods that baffle me. Food I like, let's pick an easy one. Pizza, yum, delicious. Oh, yeah go crazy over pizza. <laughs> Second category, sushi. Don't like it. Totally get why people like it though. What a beautiful, beautiful, awful tasting food that is. <laughs> I remember the one time I tried it 17 years ago at the Cincinnati airport. <laughs> I did not enjoy it. No second chances for sushi. You blew it, sushi. I gave you every opportunity to be good with that quarter of a bite that I took and spit out immediately. Third category, foods that baffle me, egg salad. If I'm at a diner and I see someone order egg salad, all I can think is, so you read all 75 pages of that menu? And that's the item that popped. It's like, oh honey, I found it. Top of 59. Cold, smelly eggs. I'm sorry, cold, smelly, disgusting eggs. Got so excited I read that wrong. Smashed together with cold, awful mayonnaise. Also made with cold, smelly eggs. 
served on mm, 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 white bread. <laughs> Baby, this is why we go to restaurants. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everyone. <laughs>